Hi guys, welcome to this session on Batting Pro. This is Mukesh from Best Career Guide for ERP.com. This session is helpful for you if you are completely new to SAP and you are interested in SAP programming. This will provide you a brief introduction to Batting Pro. Batting Pro is a new UI technology from SAP available on SAP Network Platform. SAP plans to replace its classic SAP GUI technology with Batting Pro in the long term. Don't be overwhelmed by the term DIMPRO. DIMPRO stands for Dynamic Program to indicate the fact that SAP screens are basically dynamic programs having business logic inside them. This is the structure for our discussion today. We'll start with the classic SAP GUI technology along with its drawbacks and we'll move ahead with the launch of WebDIMPRO as a part of SAP Network Platform and then we'll discuss the development environments available for building WebDIMPRO applications. Finally, I will demonstrate a small WebDIMP Pro application uh, which fetches data from the backend SAP system and displays it in a web browser window. For those of you who have never seen an SAP screen before, this is it. You need to have a software called SAP GUI installed on your machine. Then only you can access the SAP system. This is the first screen you get. It is called SAP Easy Access Screen. Uh, you can see the SAP menu tree here with items, logistics, accounting, human resources, etc. You can access the functionality available in SAP system from here. Alternatively, you can type a shortcut name called transaction code in this input field and that functionality of transaction will open in this user session like I have opened the material details for material code P-400. This is called material master in SAP system. It has many views like basic data 1, 2, classification, sales, MRP, warehouse, etc, etc. You can see the description of the material here, the base, of, base unit of measure, gross weight, net weight, volume, etc. Uh, SAP screen, in this case material master, not only displays the data from the database, uh, this screen also has the business logic uh, behind it. For example, if you want to add a digital base unit of measure, you will enter a new value and SAP system will validate that value and check whether uh, this is acceptable or not so in case it is acceptable and you save it uh, the SAP system calls the update routines which will update this data into the database so this SAP screen not only has the data but the processing logic behind it and this is one of the major drawbacks also uh, suppose if an application software outside SAP system wants to access the functionality of SAP system, it has to enter the SAP system through these screens. And SAP has developed a few techniques which allow the outside softwares to access the SAP functionality, but they are inefficient and ultimately SAP had to do the hard work of rewriting the business logic, the application logic away from the SAP screens so that uh, it can be accessed from outside application softwares through remote function calls and web services. And this drawback was one of the major design consideration which went into the development of WebDIN Pro. So from the very beginning, WebDIN Pro separates the business logic from the UI logic so that if there is any change in UI logic, it doesn't affect the whole application. We'll discuss that in a moment. Uh, another driving force was the advancement in the field of internet technologies this is developing very fast in the year 2000 and after it a lot of standards and protocols emerged and finally the time was ripe to build 
uh, serious internet applications sap was building uh, business applications and sap leveraged uh, the internet technologies to offer a new platform called sap netweaver it was open standards based its primary motive was to integrate the heterogeneous it infrastructure of the business organization a business organization has a number of uh, application software sap erp may be one of them then other known as sap erp systems other application softwares which help the organizations in manufacturing operations sales customer relationship management etc etc <coughs> sap network aimed to provide a platform for these applications so that they can talk to each other they can access the functionalities uh, within each other to reduce the total cost of ownership of the organizations sap network was launched in 2003 and was named sap network 2004 after the year of its general availability in the market uh, first web demo for java was launched as a technical component of sap network 2004 three years later web demo pro for adapt was launched in year 2006 uh, with sap network 2004s the next version of sap netweaver so we have two flavors of web demo pro web demo pro adapt and web demo pro java the development environment for web demo pro adapt is adapt workbench where sap developers spend most of their time in building sap applications adapt is a programming language of sap to develop sap custom applications adapt workbench was enhanced to offer the capabilities for creating web demo pro applications so a web demo pro framework is integrated into adapt workbench for web demo pro for java sap offered an eclipse based development environment it was named netweaver developer studio eclipse ide is the tool used by java programmers to build java applications sap modified eclipse to suit uh, the building of web demo applications this is a look and feel of sap netweaver developer studio we won't go into much detail of this and this is the abap workbench integrating the web demo pro development environment in the middle of the screen you can see the layout the user interface layout where the developer can build the user interface on the left hand side there are palettes from where the developer can select the ui elements a drag and drop to the layout area and build the ui so that, and uh, assign the properties to the ui elements here so as you can see it is very simple to build the ui in web demo pro uh, it was the intention uh, behind uh, creating web demo pro framework that the uh, developer should focus more on the business logic design and development instead of uh, the ui this slide shows you the mechanism behind web demo pro framework how the web demo pro framework renders a view on the client web demo pro technology is client independent which means you can access web demo pro application on your personal computer laptop mobile device or any other handheld device with the right capabilities once you build and compile a web demo pro application the framework creates a metadata of the application and xml description of the application during run time when the client say a web browser request the application from sap server the framework selects a suitable rendering engine based on the capabilities of the client a web browser in our case 
the rendering engine receives this uh, metadata or XML description of the application and generates a code in HTML and JavaScript to suit the client and the client displays the UI. So till this XML description it is independent of the client technology. The metadata is in the XML format it doesn't have any HTML JavaScript code and it's the rendering engine which builds the UI part of the application from this description. So suppose a new client comes on the horizon in future as it is confident that it will develop a new rendering engine for this new UI client and without any modifications or compilation of the present Dream Pro application those applications can be accessed by the new client. So that's a great advantage. The customers will have the renting engine from SAP and their current Pro applications will be used as they are even if the UI technology changes. This is the small web Pro application which I built. It is based on flight data model. We can go through the details of the flight data model on bestcareguide for erp.com. Uh, this application has input fields city from, country from, the city and country of uh, departure, and the city and country of arrival. And once you click on search flights, the application fetches data from backend SAP system and displays in this table. So this screen shows the data fetched for uh, your selections fetched from SAP system uh, and it is displayed in the web browser. It can be accessed on any any other SAP client and uh, sorry any other client also since the Webin Pro is uh, client independent. With this our session comes to an end. Thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed this session. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.